Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amanda and today I'll be doing a little desk tour. As some of you guys may know, I recently sold my art at my first event and it was a lot of fun. A lot of my friends and family came out to support so I'm very grateful for everyone that came out. But because of the event, I am very tired and burnt out so I thought this would just be a fun video where I can go through my drawers and show off all the art supplies I've accumulated over the years and maybe some fun stories that come along with them. Let's go! So, so there's certain things in my drawers that aren't really worth talking about but I'll try to talk about the more interesting things so let's go through drawer number one. I have this box of washi tape. Some of them are from my friend Angelica and most of them I bought through Michaels. They had a really big sale a long time ago and each roll was selling for like 10 cents so I just stocked up on a bunch and I haven't had a stock up ever since then. Next up is my paper cutter. I like how this one, you can fold it so it's more compact. Very useful because I cut a lot of paper. The last thing is this hedgehog figurine that my friend Annie got for me. So I'd like to mess around with my younger sister sometimes and then I would just have this in my hand. I go up to her and I'm like, oh, give me your hand. She'll hold her hand out and I just like drop it in her hand and she'd scream. <laughs> so anytime I want to mess with her, I just whip out the hedgehog. In drawer number two, we have a bunch of rolls of Cricut Smart Iron-On Vinyl. This is typically used for custom tote bags, custom t-shirts, anything where you need iron-on to fabric. So I have a bunch of these. And then I do a lot of polymer clay projects and I like to use UV resin. So I always make sure I have some UV resin on me. And then the most important thing are these LED badminton shuttle clocks. <laughs> so I... I'm not a very sporty person. I would say my best sport is maybe basketball. But badminton is maybe a close second. I'm very bad at tennis, but I think I'm a lot better at badminton because it's just so light. So all you really have to do is hit it. But with tennis, you actually need to put some power into it. For drawer number three, I have a lot of stuff I could talk about in this one. So I have this kit of like different cutters and then it has different letters so you can imprint it into the clay. I got this a while ago but I feel like I haven't really used it to its full potential because every time I try to use a stencil on the polymer clay, the clay gets stuck in the stencil and I wasn't really sure how to use it so if you guys have any tips for me let me know. I have a box of polymer clay. I use a lot of clay so I, I like to buy the big box. I use about almost two-thirds of it. I have these photo books and basically I like to take photos when I'm out and about. I like to take on the Hooji app and then when I have a bunch ready to go, I use the Free Prints app to get these all printed for me. This one's called Views, so it's a bunch of different landscapes that I thought were very pretty. Then I have a bunch of books. First, I have these two books, Show Your Work and Stay Like an Artist. I talked about Show Your Work in my first video. This is part of a trilogy, so I have the other book, Keep Going, um, but my friend Andy is borrowing it right now, so I don't have it with me. Then I have this book, which was also given to me by Andy. Then I have this book called 3,000 Questions About Me. I like asking random questions to people, but if I'm being honest, this book is very hit or miss. What I'd like to do is I tell people, oh, give me a number between 1 and 3,000, and then I'll flip to whatever page has that number. But I feel like most of the time, the questions are kind of bad, so. Next up, I have Kawaii Doodle Cuties. It's like a step-by-step -step book on how to draw cute things. I bought it because it gives me inspiration for cute doodles. Like they have this whole spread on food, which I think is really cute. And then finally, I have this book called Lettering and Modern Calligraphy. And I'm pretty sure I got it because my friend Angelica is really good at hand lettering. So I think she inspired me to want to learn, but I haven't used this book. <laughs> so I should practice sometime. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the third drawer. So let's go on to the next one. I have this Cricut roll holder for smart material. So this is pretty good, um, comes in handy when I'm using my crickets. And then I have these two sewing supplies. So I have this rotary cutter, which is good for cutting fabric. So typically if you wanna like crop a t-shirt, you can easily do that. And then I have this thing called the handy stitch, which is essentially like a handheld sewing machine. So I got this hoping that it would save me a trip to the tailor. If I wanted to make like a dress or like a skirt a little bit tighter to fit my body better. I was like, oh yeah, I could just do it myself, right? <laughs> I used it once and I did it on a skirt. I was able to 
so it's successfully but something about it seemed a little off you know i was just a little afraid that if i wore that skirt out in public it would just randomly like fall apart and then <laughs> i'd be very embarrassed so yeah hopefully one day i can figure this thing out that's it for drawer number four there's not much in here i just have a bunch of extra felt material the reason why i have this one is because when I worked at Seven Leaves, they do this Halloween costume contest amongst the locations and the goal is for each store location to have the best or most creative costumes. So my shift, we came up with a Squirtle Squad costume and we made the Squirtle shells ourselves. I actually have it with me. <laughs> Let me grab it. So I have it right here. It's actually really nice. Um, there was five of us, so we had to make five of these and it took forever. So three of us were making it together. But it was just getting so late, so I said, oh, don't worry, like, I'm gonna, I'll finish it up because I was the more, like, artsy one. So I took it home and I said I'd finish it, but I pretty much pulled an all-nighter because we worked early in the morning. So I pulled an all-nighter to finish the shell, and then I had to go to work right after. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the outcome is really nice. I don't know what to do with it. I just wore it that one time, so... So yeah, that's pretty much it for the left side of my desk. So let's scooch on over to the right side. On this side, I don't have too much going on. It's just a bunch of like stickers or pieces of paper. I have like these stickers that my friends gave me. And <laughs> I have these baby stickers. We bought this from Michaels years ago. And when I mean years ago, like 16 years ago. The theme for this one, it says happy birthday baby and it's like, I'm one. We bought this when my cousin Jake was turning one and he's like 16 now. So we never use it, we forgot to use it. And since then we haven't used it. So it's just kind of sitting in the drawer. That's pretty much it for drawer number one. I have this rotary tool. So when I make polymer clay pins, I like to smooth out the edges with this tool. And then you saw these acrylic paint pens in my shrink plastic video. And so I keep them in here. And then I have this binder. So if you can see, I made some very nice art on the front. It's the Roach from Spongebob. I always thought it was so adorable. And I really like doing like cross hatching. Yeah, cross hatching. I feel like it's a very forgiving art style. So whenever I do it, I feel like I really like how the final piece comes out. But yeah, so I have that on the cover. Inside the binder though, I have a few pieces of art that I drew back in high school. So I took AP art and for the AP test, you have to submit a portfolio of like 12 pieces, like it's a whole collection. So my collection was a bunch of animals and then I drew like different patterns. That I was, oh, that, that is what I was obsessed with at the time. So that's why I submitted. I passed up the three. I kind of understand why. I think I could have done better. Kind of lack the depth that, you know, AP art portfolios should have, but I got a three, so good enough for me. I have some dresses in here. So these two dresses are a little too big for me. And like I mentioned earlier, I had the handy stitch. I was like, oh, I could fix it. I just never got around to it. I was just kind of sitting here. Maybe one day I'll get around to it. Then I have my LED nail lamp. So you saw me use it in the shrink plastic video as well. It's good for small pieces or if you're doing work at like nighttime and the sun's gone. But for my bigger polymer clay dishes, I typically like to just put it out in the sun. I have this world atlas. So one of the classes I took was geography. And I actually really like the class. I like any sort of subjects where you can just like memorize things. I think I'm good at memorizing things for a short period of time. So I scored really well in tests because I can memorize all the definitions, like where countries are located. But as soon as the test is over, I don't remember anything. So I kept this as a refresher. Draw number four, I know this one's already gonna be kind of boring. I just have like a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, some popsicle sticks, you know, just random stuff that any artist would have. Yeah, nothing, nothing noteworthy. And then the last drawer, kind of boring too, but I have some tote bags. I have some tote bags. <laughs> I would make some custom tote bags here and there for like friends and family, so I just have a bunch of tote bags. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the right side of my desk. So that concludes looking through all my drawers, but I'll give a little tour of what I have on top of my desk. 
I have my Epson EcoTank 2720. My ink levels are relatively high except for the black, so I need to refill that soon. But I've had this for definitely over a year, maybe even two years, and I haven't refilled it at all. So printing stickers though, it's not quite to the quality that I like, but I think it's good for casually printing. I have my signed Itzy album. Yeah. My name. I got it through my work, so that was pretty cool. And on top here, I have a few polymer clay dishes that I made. I went viral on TikTok for this no face dish. And I have my Shelly snail dish. Her antenna came off, which is so sad. But she's still happy, look at her. And then I have these two containers full of stickers that I've produced over time. Got these from Container Store if you're curious. Mainly has my Pogo Brain Friend stickers, but I also keep my Daily Pen Pal stickers here, and then I made a few um, Stray Kids stickers. And the last thing is my Cricut, which you've seen many times in my past videos. I actually got my Cricut for free because I did a sponsorship through Cricut, so that was actually really cool. Thanks Cricut! And that concludes my little desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, feel free to comment down below. After I recharge a little bit, I hope I can return soon with another tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!